So welcome back. Tonight uh, we're talking soccer. Let's call it Soccer Friday. Before I start the show proper, I'd like to announce all the social media tools that you need to get in touch with the show. Facebook.com slash on TV. Like the page, comment on all the posts we put there, and we'll amplify your voice by sharing whatever you tell us with the rest of the world. At Joy News on TV, at JN Interactive GH, at MN Tour 3 handles ready for all your tweets. Send them through. I'll be happy to retweet and share your thoughts with the rest of the world. Joy News I am at MotiTVWorld.com. That's our email address. Send any comment or feedback, and we'll be sure to act on it. And our WhatsApp number, 054-010-9009. JN Interactive, as always, is where tech meets news to set the agenda. So like I was saying, call it the last-minute prep for the global soccer fiesta. You, mean you may really not be far from right. Ghana's, Ghana's Black Stars are playing a farewell match at their Craftsport Stadium this evening against a local select side called the Dream Team. The farewell match is specially arranged for the Black Stars to bid their fans adieu before jetting off to Brazil. Although this is not a major game, analysts expect the local select side, most of whom played in the last Chan tournament in January to seize the opportunity to prove their worth before Coach Christian appear. Yes! Coach Chris Yapia already has 26 men he intends to use for the World Cup and by extension the three who hopes to drop before you know they get they get to Brazil but you know like a crowd hat of oak will say never say die until the booms are rotten and for the dream team I am sure most of them will hope to impress the coach you know so they can earn a spot in his good books it might just place them in good stead for the next national assignment like the African Cup of Nations. Well, the game is expected to have started about 6 p.m. and we understand they'll play 30 minutes for each half instead of the normal 45 minutes. Pretty shortly, we will cross over live to the Accra Stadium for an update. But first, let's find out the expectations of the public ahead of tomorrow's game. We'll take our first video blog. Don't go away. Probably those they are playing with are not really competitive enough, but I think they will do well. Today's match is going to be a match that probably excites us. If they give us a good game, it would excite us. We would be yearning, waiting for them in Brazil, wanting to watch what they have for us. I know that they have a chance. I mean, they always surprise us, though most of the time you can't really assess that you say that probably this person is good or the other. Now. This particular team, I, I'm sure they will give us some surprise because of where we belong. So, hey, I'm, I know I'm going to have a good time this evening watching them at the stadium. I want them to give me a good, good, splendid weekend. So I don't expect anything less. Not because they are playing with a lesser team, but I expect all of them to do well today. From the beginning, when the Kosiapia uh, brought the squad out, we realized there were quite some new and then, if I should say, young faces. I think this is the game he is supposed to give the platform to those small ones to show what they can do. Talking about the uh, Akams, he called Akam and then I think this guy is also, Adoma is also in the team. And then also personally, if I were Kosia Pia, I'm going to give chances to people like Wakaso and then uh, Samalunkum because during this season they haven't played enough for their clubs. And then we all know, but then he has called them. I'm sure probably he has his own reasons for calling them. So I think this is a game he's going to get the chance to fill them so that we, those who are having certain doubts in our minds because he called them, are going to see what they are going to bring on board. Aside that, uh, since morning we've been debating about it, and I have my friends saying it's going to be a walkover. But then I think the dream team is going to bring up a spectacle against the Black Star team, so they should watch out. The select team from the local league are going to pull out a surprise. That's, that's my expectation because um, um, there wasn't, um, I think there was just one selection or no selection at all uh, to represent in the Black Stars. So I'm sure that they are going to pull a surprise for all of Ghanaians to see that there are still talents here in Ghana which need to be included in the, in the, in the, in the Black Stars squad. We want to see some of the boys that they've 
being introduced to the team if they are going to play better today is the day they, they, they want to show Ghanaians how they, they, they also going to make an impact to the team so we are all hoping that it will be a good match and what we pray for is injury shouldn't affect the team what that's my worry and we are praying for injury should not appear to the team I was expecting a very nice game because I mean the local quality must also supersede the foreign quality this is the Boga black stars against the locally based black stars so we are just see you know there was a total call up of 26 but the local boys also believe that you could be there so today they are going to prove their worth against their Boga side I have a problem with the selection. So Kwesi uh, Apia should reselect his squad again. I think uh, it's a good for the nation to, to get behind and support them. That shows that if we all can appear at the stadium, it will be a very good thing for them. Like, they should know that we are supporting them. So I think it's a, it's a very good farewell match and it's a good preparation for them too. So let's get on the phone lines now and speak to Enes Buama of our sports department who is at the stadium live for us. Enes, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Marion. Has the match, uh, the first half of the game ended yet? No, we are left about some five minutes to end the first half. Right. Uh, any goals yet? Uh, who scored? Yes, uh, I'll say for now, the Black Star team is leading by three goals to zero. And the goals... The first goal actually came in about two minutes into the beginning of the game. It was caught by Aaron uh, Christian Achu. Then about some 10 minutes into the game again, he had a second goal. And uh, some 20 minutes into the game, uh, Jordan Ayu also had a third goal for the Black Stars. First half, 30 minutes, three goals. Does that three actually goals. speak, um, let's say, well for the Black Stars? Or does it actually say that? Uh, the local crop that we have here actually don't match up. So Coach Kwesiapia was right in choosing the crop that he did. The line has dropped, but uh, I am dying to find out what is happening there. Three goals. Hello. Ah, no. But uh, let's take some comments on social media whilst we try to re-establish contact with Ernest, who is there live at the stadium. And then um, I'll share you know, the comments, some of the comments that have been dropping in on social media with you, especially on Facebook, and the protester is already there to tell you that uh, the Ghana Black Stars are playing against a select side and what your expectations are and if we can, you know, measure the Black Stars' level of preparation for Brazil by today's performance. And three goals, whopping, woo! So let's just take two comments. I hear Ennis is back on the line so that we'll cross over to him. Newton Jeffer just says, not at all, because the Stars are going to play with all the carefulness in order not to sustain any form of injury. The quality of players we have in Ghana is going uh, to win the cup. Go Ghana, go Black Stars. Majida Wood is sending this in from Gushegu. My worry is not about Portugal or Germany, whether it is about USA. Will they allow us to exit them again? I wish Coach Apia the best, Marianne, today. I want to use your platform to appeal to government to fit, um, or oh, to lift the curfew in Gushigu, which has been in extension since 2008, about six years now. We're tired. Okay, I am sure um, government has heard you, and uh, he'll do, they'll do all that they can to help. Hello, and uh, Ernest is back on the line. Hello, Ernest. Hello. The line actually tripped there. I wanted to ask you to compare the crop of players that we have in the local team, who are the dream team, playing against um, uh, Kwetsi Apia's selected uh, 26, who are going to Brazil. Is it to say that um, we don't have the right crop of uh, players here in Ghana, and so the Black Stars uh, have actually beaten them three goals in just the first um, half? I would say that, I mean, Kutapia's team is the best that we have in the country now. Mm. So of course, I mean, the, uh, the quality is higher than that of what Coach Herbert Adu, who is coaching the select side of the local team now. So mm. I think if you 
want to compare our uh, Secretary of the FDB is ahead. It doesn't make, mean that, I mean, uh, the local select sides are not very good. Mm. But just now, I mean, Mr. Chief just had a third goal for the Black Stars. Mr. Chief just had a third goal for the Black Stars now. So the curtain that the Black Stars are leading by four goals to zero. <laughs> that is amazing. But you see, I can hear the atmosphere there. I'd love for you to paint a picture for us of what is going on there. Is the stadium packed? Uh, is it full or is it just a, a regular? I, I, I would say that the stadium is almost about 98% packed now. Right. I mean, I mean it's packed. I mean, that, that sense, that's it's charged. I mean, that car is really charged now. I'm really surprised that like that and the select side of our local team here, and we have this huge uh, attendance. Mm. For me, it was superb. And in attendance, we also have, I mean, the vice president of our nation, His Excellency Mr. Atta, who is present here today. Mm. And we also have the former president of Ghana, uh, His Excellency Derry John Rollins, who also got here. And when he entered, I mean, the crowd was just cheering so massively for him. We also have our own minister, Mr. Mm. Fri Yankra, who's also present currently now. So for me, it, it, it's really packed in the stadium now, and everybody's really enjoying himself. If this is what we would be seeing always, I think the blast has have the full support of Ghanaian. Mm. But uh, before you go, what uh, should we expect for the rest of the night? I think for the rest of the night, it's about entertainment, it's about having fun, mm. it's about, I mean, saying farewell to our blast as they go to Holland, prepare themselves, and go to U.S., then to Brazil finally. And it's our prayer that, I mean, when this blast start, continue to play like this and move on, uh, I think we should be expecting the World Cup in Ghana. And as Boama, I really envy you. I wish I were in your shoes right you now. Should be here. You should be here. I mean, you can't even get a place to park your car. I mean, the whole area around the park stadium is packed now. You can't even get anywhere to park your car now. And it's, it's really a good night for us. For those who are here, it's a mm. really good night for us. And after the game, I'm sure it's going to be full of success throughout. Because we'll be here, there's going to be a, a music artist who will be entertaining the crowd mm. when we are. And after the match is over. Of course, so you'll be our eyes and uh, our ears on the ground now, and I'm sure that you saw it live on the Joy Sports channel very soon. Yes. Thank you so much for that update. You're welcome. So that was uh, my colleague, Ernest uh, Buama, who is with uh, Joy Sports TV, bringing us up to date on what is happening at the Accra Sports Stadium right now. And the Dream Team, I can confirm, are down by four goals to zero. Black Stars, go, 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 go. Just first half, 30 minutes and they are, they are down already. Wow. So back from that update, uh, we asked you um, if the performance of the Black Stars tonight should be used as a yardstick to measure their preparedness for the big games ahead of uh, them in Brazil. Here's what some of you have been saying. We'll take a final video blog. You, don't, you shouldn't expect too much because it's just a friendly game whereby they're supposed to play very careful so that they will not hurt the players. I think if not for we getting back and supporting them, I think this game should have been aborted. But it's also a good game for Ghanaians to see what they are capable of doing. This is not going to be a competitive margin. It's just like, you know, one of the normal games, friendly games that they've been playing for the past months. It's, it's, it's one of them. So this is not going to be too competitively. But so we just expect football, total football, not any competition. Well, I, I, I know they will not, what they will play today will not be what they will be playing there in Brazil. Because, I mean, psychologically, they know they are not playing a, a competitive match. Even friendlies that we play international, you don't get them the way you see them when they are playing really competitive matches. So I, I don't expect them to do anything extraordinary than what we would see in Brazil. I know we're going to watch a good match, that's it. Because even the people they are going to play with, I mean, they're not competitive enough. We don't even know them. We know they are the select side. We don't really, I really don't know who I'm going to even watch. I just want to see the My Black Stars play. And I want to see something different in them. I want to see some excitement in their faces. Some uh, happiness that they've been selected because there are a lot of people who could, who could have played, but the 23 or 26 that he has now, I think is the best that we have. I mean, he's put together, and I know they will do well in Brazil. Friendlies and um, pre matches like this before the World Cup um, normally don't count for Ghana. Ghana, the Black Stars um, play 
a very good football at the World Cup. When it comes to friendlies, I don't know why we just play with it like that. I don't know if it's because the name is a friendly. <laughs> But um, we are very good when it comes to competitive matches. So I don't think we can use these matches to um, go against the performance that we're going to pull up at the World Cup in Brazil or any other performance that any other team is going to pull up. It's a fair world match. It's not, it doesn't carry too much weight. But then, like I said earlier on, I think individually or personally, the players are going to look at showing what they can do, especially the new faces. Aside that, I think if you put a player like Asamwajan in this game, he's going to play it more like a training game. But then for the others who are yet to make an impact or show what they can do, I am looking at they putting in their best. But then like I said earlier on, I think Herbert Ado, who is going to be the coach for the Dream Team, and the Dream Team boys are also going to want to prove a point because we've been talking about the fact that there are no local based players in the team and all that so me personally i'm thinking if i am a local base player and i am called into this team i would definitely want to prove to kwesia pia that you should have called me instead of that person so i think you are going to pull a surprise if the black star are not careful yeah i think that uh, it, it do not the foreign ones will not give out their best but uh we expect a very classic game uh, they will expect I mean, most of them are Europeans. I would say they play in Europe and uh, they already really exhibit what they brought from Europe against their local side. So that is what some of you have been thinking. Let's go and take some WhatsApp comments that have been coming in. And uh, this one says the Black Stars um, have, have done well. Me, I wish, I was hoping the Dream Team beat them. Okay, you didn't sign this, and uh, please do well to sign it. And we should be in no rush to send messages. When you're sending them, please read and reread it before you send it. I'll take it anyway. So at least we have some coherence in the interactive community. You guys have been doing well of late, sending in long messages rather than the shorthand, and I'm loving it already. So congratulations to all of you. Next time, please sign your WhatsApp so that we'll take uh, our WhatsApps nicely without any glitch. Please, Kwesi should protect our stars. They are all we rely on for now. All uh, the best in Brazil. Yes, all the best to the black stars. And you haven't signed also. Uh, the stars can do better than that. Three goals in 30 minutes isn't enough. Oh, wow. You are a very tough taskmaster. Really, three goals, 30 minutes, not enough. I mean, do the math. It's about an average. A goal um, every 10 minutes. And they've made it four now. So do the math again. A goal like every eight minutes. That's to say. They've done very, very well. Uh, this one says, um, I said it. The team they are playing with is below their standard. Okay, you have been sending messages in already. You're thinking they're playing below their standard. So it really doesn't matter to you. Okay. No problem. I'll switch over. We'll take some Facebook comments as well before Steve joins me so that we wrap up the show together. And this one is coming from Francis of Chelsea. Definitely no. Okay. Very emphatic. Paul says, Black Stars all the way. We are going to perform in Brazil. Christian Salvo. Well, that's a good thing to do. I think that uh, this match will make us um, all access the team and the players properly and also know who is fit and ready for the battle. But I also think that our lineup is a team B. But all the same, it's a good start and Coach Christian Pierre must give uh, every player the opportunity to justify his inclusion so that he can choose the best and the final 23-man um, squad to represent our nation Ghana. I wish the Ghana Black Stars all the best. Go Black Stars. Go. Isaac says, they have to score Germany for me. I'll be watching the game with my German friends. Oh, yeah, you want bragging rights over your German friends. I get that. Michael says, huh? Preparation to score <laughs> which team? Portugal are playing for pride. Germany are playing for national praise. USA are playing out of hearts. So say, in God we trust. But Ghana are playing for money. Oh, really? <laughs> when <laughs> windows, uh, widows and orphans are suffering in Ghana, God help us to lose all the games. I'm not going to even continue with that one. You are such a pessimist, anti ghanaian In fact, you're not patriotic at all. If you're patriotic, you wouldn't be saying this against our national black stars. Uh, how? You, you, your, your patriotism. I want to even quote 